What's up, everybody? It's Travis here from Travis.media. Today, I want to share with you in under five minutes, I promise, how you can run C Sharp in VS Code. So maybe you're thinking about learning C Sharp, or maybe you've been using Visual Studio and you want to switch over to VS Code. Well, I want to show you today how to create a project, how to debug, and compile your code in VS Code. If you find this useful, remember, thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is install .NET 5.0. So if you go, if you don't have that, go to .NET.Microsoft.com slash download and look for .NET 5.0. Just click this download .NET SDK. Of course, pick your operating system up here. But when you download the SDK, you also get the command line tools. So you want to do that first. And to confirm that that's installed, just do a .NET dash dash version. That'll tell you what version you're using. I'm on 5.0.202. Next, create a new C Sharp project in VS Code. So if I go to desktop, there's a handful of projects you can create. You can create a web app, you can create an API. There's a lot of different commands. The quickest one to get started is just do .NET new console O for output in a folder called app. I'm just gonna call it app. .NET new console dot dash O app. This creates a new console app. And when you're done, you can CD into it. So this should be an app folder. We'll do code dot dot or code dot to open this project up in VS Code. And you should see this. You got a project file and you have a program.cs. In that program.cs file, you should have a hello world. It's taken a minute to get loaded. But yeah, console.writeline, hello world. So if I open my VS Code console, I can do a .NET run command to run my project. .NET run. And you should see down here in the terminal, it output hello world. And now you have a C Sharp project that you can learn C Sharp with. There it is, hello world. So now you ask, how do you debug your C-sharp code? Like, let's say I wrote a bunch of code and I want to I debug it. I want to add some breakpoints, all of that good stuff. Well, to do that, you need to go to the command palette, the VS Code command palette. That's Shift-Command-P on a Mac. I don't know what it is on Windows, but somewhere you can go up here to the menu and pick it. But what you want to type is .NET. And actually, before we do that, you want to make sure you have the .NET extension or the C-sharp extension, probably. So if you go to extensions, type in uh, C-sharp, not C-at, C-sharp. It's this, um, I think it's the Microsoft extension. It's whatever the official C-sharp extension is. There it is. C-sharp extension by Microsoft. You wanna get this, and then you'll have all this stuff. But if I go back to my project, um, I can open the command palette and type in .NET, and you want to look for generate assets for build and debug, which is right here. Click that, and it's going to generate this folder, this .vs code folder. Open that up, click on launch JSON, and there you go. There's your configuration to run this in debug mode. Now I can click this debug button over here in VS Code, come up here to the play button, which is this uh, launch configuration, click play, and now I can run it in debug mode. So I can set breakpoints or whatever I want to do. So if I wanted to add a breakpoint here on the console.write line for some weird reason, I can put the breakpoint there. I can run the play button to launch my project in debug mode. There it is. So it's saying it's going to show me my variables up here, which I don't have any. But if I had code here, I could walk through it. And uh, all of my variables and things would be over here for me to debug. So that's how you debug C Sharp in VS Code. So let me stop that. Finally, how do you compile your code? So to compile your code, you simply just type .NET build. Let me go back to my files. .NET build and hit enter. There it is. .NET build builds my file. And I think the file is... Um, is it in bin? Yeah, bin debug .NET 5, 5.0, and there should be like a DLL. I think it's this, app.dll is your compiled file. But most of the time when you're working in development, you just want to do .NET run. And that's how you run C Sharp in VS Code, how you compile, debug, and create a new project. Hope you found this interesting. Thanks for watching.